Hey guys, so today I am going to uh, explain about the pressure switch and flow switch and also I am going to use these two switches to control the operation of a lube pump and compressor in sequence using PLC. So let us start with what is flow switch. So in our previous video, I already discussed about the flow switch which is used to detect the airflow direction. So here I am going to use a liquid flow switch, so which is going to detect the flow of liquid in a concealed or confined pipe. So these switches, when it is detecting the liquid flow, it is going to either close or open the switch. So this opening and close will give the signal to the PLC. The PLC is going to take decision according to the program which you have written in the later logic. And it is going to activate a relay or a contactor in the output side so that it can switch on or switch off the pump or the compressor which is connected to the contactor. So we have different mechanism for these pressure switches. So I have listed here a few. So the burden tube pressure switch. The construction is the mechanical construction differs, but the function is uh, same. The liquid flow goes through this burden pipe. So when the pressure increases, this burden pipe expands. So when it expands, the contact moves from NC to NO so that from the common terminal, say from here, so this is our common terminal. So the input is going here. So when the pressure increases, this burden tube goes out and it pulls this contact from this point, this NC point to the NO point here so that it makes the contact to close from common to NO, so the current flow can takes place. So this signal can be connected to PLC and the PLC will get this input and it will do according to the program, whatever the work has to be done. Okay, so this is burden tube pressure switch and diaphragm pressure switch. Here we have, instead of a burden tube, we have a diaphragm here. So the liquid will be sent through this so when you give a pressurized liquid here, so this will go up. So when this goes up, then the contact also go along with this. So this contact will change from here to here. So this is common terminal. So this is NC terminal and it will be NO terminal. So when the pressure is applied enough, so against this bird, uh, you know, diaphragm, so that diaphragm will move above so that the contact will move from NC to NO, so the contact will be getting closed. And this signal, again, it will be given to the PLC to give the required input and so that the PLC can take decision according to the program. So other two types, we have piston type. We have a piston here, so the liquid will be given here against the spring pressure. So when the uh, enough amount of pressure is applied here, so the piston pushes the spring and it moves uh, in the upward direction so that the switch is making contact from NC to NO. So the switch close here so that the current flow takes place. This can be uh, detected and it will be given to the um, you know PLC. Yeah, so these are the different type of uh, pressure switches uh, mostly we use in industry. So let us see the control diagram, uh, wiring, control wiring diagram. So here we have uh, two motors, that is one is compressor motor and another one is a lube oil pump. So which is also a motor which is connected to the pump, right? So this part is power circuit and uh, below one is a control circuit. So in the control circuit, we have uh, emergency stop switch and we have a reset or on switches and we have a control relay here so by pressing this reset button here so the contact will get close here so that the current flow takes place to cr coil so that is the control relay coil so when the control relay is get energized so the path the current path takes place through this part this way and here the switches getting closed when these switches are getting closed now the system is ready and it is waiting for the pressure switch 
to reach the set pressure. So when the pressure is reached to set level, then automatically the pressure switch will get closed. When the pressure switch is getting closed, then the lube oil pump will be getting on. So once the lube oil pump is getting on, then the flow of this liquid is detected using the flow switch, the liquid flow switch. So the when, when the flow switch is detecting the liquid flow, from the lube oil pump so the contact will get close here so that the current flow reaches to the compressor motor so that when the compressor motor is getting power so the compressor gets on but at the same time here the contact when it is moving from nc to no so that the nc switch will get open here so the indicator will go off state so this uh, it will be in on condition until the pressure switch releases so when the pressure switch releases, the, when the compressor is uh, keep operating, so the pressure may reach to certain point and the pressure switch will open. So when it is open, the lube oil pump will go off, then automatically the flow switch will open and the compressor will also will go off. Or if I want to make the, the system to go off state, so what I can do, I can press this emergency stop so that the power flow can be stopped from this point itself so that everything will go off. So when the lube oil pump and the compressor is getting uh, the energy, the, the coils are getting energized. So here the contactors for the compressor and the lube oil pump will be getting closed here so that these two devices start working. Right. So it's a very simple application. Uh, I am giving you the uh, very simple applications in the initial stage. Uh, further, we will have a complicated programs uh, in the further videos. So now let us see how the wiring is done for this in the PLC. So I have a on switch, off switch, and I, I have a flow switch, pressure switch, and I have two uh, motors, which is representing one is lube oil pump and another one is a compressor motor. And I have a contactor here. So with overload relay, some uh, in our previous video, uh, some of the viewer has told me that uh, show the overload relay also in the wiring diagram. So I just put the overload relay also here uh, so that we can understand how the overload relay connection is taking place. Right. So when we operate this uh, switch on switch, so the supply will be transferred to this PLC input uh, uh, device here input side so that this input will be taken to inside and according to the program so you will control relay will get on so that uh, you know uh, correspondingly it will wait for the pressure switch to give signal once the pressure switch gives signal from here that input will be received in x3 and once this is there then the lube oil pump will be on and when the pump is on the fluid will be flowing to the flow switch and the flow switch when it is detecting the flow then it will give the signal here in x1 and when x1 is getting signal so that means it will switch on the compressor motor so the wiring is done in such a way that uh, the sensors are acting as a sourcing devices and the input uh, module is acting as a sinking device and similar way here in the output uh, side as well the contactors are acting as a sourcing device and here the output module is acting as a sinking uh, device so when the uh, output uh, coil is energized so accordingly the contactors will get enabled here so that the motors here will be get on okay so this blue line you can see the blue line the power, power flow takes place and it goes here a1, this is coil for contactor, and this is NC switch. NC switch for overload relay, and from this, it is going back to the PLC output module. So, here inside, actually, this optocoupler or uh, the output device which is kept inside the switch, if it is getting closed like this as per the code, then the circuit will get closed and the current flow will go back to the neutral. So, the circuit will fully close this so that the contactor will enable until this switch is not closed so there will not be any power flow in this path so that's why this uh, closing and opening the switch will be determined by the code the ladder logic what we are writing so this is why we are calling this uh, type of wiring as a uh, you know uh, from the load side it is a sourcing load and the module is a sinking type module right so this is the wiring diagram for this particular simple 
uh, example. The code or the ladder logic will be looks like this, which is also a simple one. So we have on switch and off switch. We have control relay. And when this on switch is closed, then the Y0 coil will energize or the control relay is getting energized. And the control relay is going to close this Y0 wherever it is. So when this is getting closed, then that means it is it is waiting for the pressure switch to give signal. So the pressure switch, if it is already set for the pressure, so the lube oil pump will be enabled. When the lube oil pump is enabled, the flow switch here will detect the flow. And when this flow switch detects the flow, then the compressor motor will be on. So when the compressor motor is getting on, this will go off. Okay, so this is the sequence which is followed in the program. So if you want to uh, turn off the uh, total operation, so we can turn off this switch so that the power flow will be stopped in all the uh, rungs. Otherwise, if the pressure reaches to set pressure, then this switch will go open. It will go open. It will go off state. So when it is off, it is going to off state. So automatically there is no flow takes place from the lube oil pump. So here the flow switch will not detect any flow then the compressor will go off state as well and the indicator will come to on state. So this is the sequence. So let us see uh, the ladder using the Delta PLC programming part. OK, so now uh, let me show how it functions. Let me turn on this. Download the code. Run the PLC and in the observation mode right so now i'm going to switch on this switch so that the control relay is on so y0 wherever we have contacts so all these y0 contacts are getting closed now even if you switch off this switch still it is in on state because of this latching if the pressure is reaching to the set point then the lube oil pump is going to be in on state. So when the lube oil pump is pumping the liquid, so the flow switch will detect the liquid flow. If the liquid flow is detected, then the compressor motor will be getting on. So until the pressure is going to the certain point, so this operation continues. When the pressure goes to certain point, then this switch is going to open. So when this is going to be open, then the flow will also go off. So there will not be any flow. So the compressor motor will be off. So here you can see the indicator lamp will be getting on. Or if you want to turn off the process manually, you can switch off this switch. So that the total process will go to state. So very simple uh, example. Hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. So let us meet in the next video.